students of Tamil Nadu finally have a uniform syllabus to go by post the Supreme Court's verdict, but can teachers make up for the time lost? I was a little bit worried in my heart about it. Last, uh, the loss of the past two months. We can uh, hold classes during Saturdays and even if necessary on Sundays also. Amma's government falls in line with the verdict by the Apex Court, but Karunanidhi claims a political victory. And the Samachir Kalvetetta would not be a good Tamaragaras sail put it to in Barai Territory. The Chief Minister is disgruntled over Centre's seemingly miserly attitude, claims she had to pump in more than 705 crores from the state's resources. Amma says that providing drinking water to Tamil Nadu is her top priority as the issues are taken up at the Assembly. In an NDTV Hindu impact, the cybercrime cell of the Chennai City Police investigate a website hosting pirated and adult content. And Aditya Mehta is the snooker king at the national championships held in the city. He beat Alok Kumar 6-2. Welcome to the Late Night News on NDTV Hindu. I'm Evelyn Matthew joining you with the day's updates. Let's also bring you the national and the international headlines. As riots continue in London, David Cameron rushes home and tells rioters end the violence or face the consequences. Worried about the US slipping into a recession, the markets are extremely volatile with the Sensex bouncing from red to green. Chaos in Parliament after the BJP takes on Sonia Gandhi for her role in appointing Suresh Kalmadi as Chief of the Commonwealth Games. Outside Parliament, the police lucky charge BJP activists as protests get out of hand. UP government earmarks a whopping 26 crores for the sole purpose of providing security to its Chief Minister Mayavati. And as the oil spill from the MB Ruck reaches the coastal areas beyond Mumbai, the Environment Secretary tells NDTV they will make the polluter pay. Our top story tonight, the impasse over the uniform syllabus has finally come to an end with the Supreme Court ruling in favour of the earlier syllabus. But with textbooks yet to be distributed, what is the road ahead for schools from now on? My colleague Krishnamurthy finds out. After weeks of uncertainty, over 1.2 crore students in Tamil Nadu now know what they have to learn. And it is going to be a huge challenge for both the teaching and the student communities. Every academic year, schools work for 220 days. Schools have already lost 52 of them due to the confusion over the syllabus. Two months have elapsed. We are in a hope that portions will be completed within the end of this year, for which we should conduct special classes. We can uh, hold classes during Saturdays and even if necessary on Sundays also, and thus. We can cover all the portions. Now the big question is, will the portions be completed on time with semester exams just weeks away? Meanwhile, students, especially those in class 10 and above, have been doing some smart work on their own. Now I feel very happy. Uh, even though there was a little bit worry in my heart about uh, last, uh, the loss of past two months, I will gather it by studying in my holidays. Going by the book has got redefined thanks to the uniform syllabus imbroglio. After weeks of activity-based learning, students now have to go by the book, chapter and verse and exhibit their competitive spirit. Not an easy task for all. In Chennai with Krishnamurti, Evelyn Matthew for NDTV Hindu. Now let's just draw out the statements from that particular judgment which went against the Jayalalitha government in uh, the state today. They observed that uh, the government's decision to postpone the education system was arbitrary and oppressive. The Apex Court asked that if 1 crore 20 lakh students were to revert to the multiple syllabus system prior to 2010, they would be utterly confused and would be put to enormous stress. The court thus called the entire exercise by the government discriminatory to not just students, but also the teachers and parents. Ideally, the state government should have acted thinking of the destiny of the nation that rests with its youth. 
Addressing another issue of contention by the present government, the Supreme Court agreed that there had been instances of personal glorification, self-publicity and promotion in the textbook content. Such material could be deleted rather than putting the operation of the Act 2010 in abeyance for an indefinite period. But the Chief Minister had told uh, the Assembly today that the state government will implement the system following that dismissal of its appeal at the Supreme Court. Uchaniri Mandram Indra Kale Dan, that is the Tirpei Varangi Ulade Tamara Harasin, Mel Murayede, Talubadi Seya Patulade Weir Niri Mandram Yer Kaneve Pirapita Anae, but the Nat Kalakul, Sail Padata Vendum Indri, Uchaniri Mandram, Anae Tulade Akawe, and the Samachir Kalvit Tate, Wooden Diaga, Tamara Garasa, Sail Padatum, Yen Varay Terevatakulkri. But the DMK chief M. Karananidhi was quick to react post that big verdict from the apex court, calling it his party's victory. He said that the chief minister, Jayalalitha, was taught a lesson by the Supreme Court. <laughs> Someone I will and Ati Muka, Arasaka, Aki Kyan the Mundre Malangaril, we have pity of Padam, India Ucheni, the one that is the red ruler. In the air, the Mukre Achi de Ula Ucheni, the one that is Achi de Ucheni, the one that is our Rakapatrul, Amea Gaila. Already, I while this is a setback for Rama, her allies, the CPM and the AISMK have welcomed Ms. Jalalita's decision to implement the uniform system of education with immediate effect. Here are uh, what a few sections had to say. And the we will go by the order of the Supreme Court. Committee <laughs> Irdalan 
தமிழகத்தினுடைய ஏழை நடுத்தர மக்களுடைய வாழ்வில் பெரும் முன்னேற்றத்தை உண்டாகப் போகின்ற தீர்ப்பு மார்க்சிஸ்ட் கம்யூனிஸ்ட் கட்சி சார்பில் இதை நான் வரவேற்கிறேன் நீண்ட நாட்களாக இடதுசாரிகள் நடத்திய போராட்டத்திற்கு மிகப்பெரும் வெற்றி கிடைத்திருக்கிறது தமிழகத்திற்கு ஒரு மகிழ்ச்சி திருநாள் இந்த சமச்சீர் கல்வியை அமுல்படுத்த வேண்டும் என்று இன்று சட்டமன்றத்திலே மார்க்சிஸ்ட் உறுப்பினர் டெல்லிபாபு பேசுகிற போது தலையிட்ட முதலமைச்சர் அவர்கள் உச்சநீதிமன்றம் இன்று காலையிலே தான் தீர்ப்பு கொடுத்திருக்கிறது உயர்நீதிமன்றத்தின் தீர்ப்பை பத்து தினங்களுக்கு அமுல்படுத்த உத்தரவிட்டிருக்கிறது மாநில அரசாங்கம் உடனடியாக அதை அமுல்படுத்தும் என்று அறிவித்திருக்கிறார்கள் முதலமைச்சருடைய அந்த அறிவிப்பும் மகிழ்ச்சி அளிக்கிறது Ms. Jaya Lalitha explained that only 2,829 crores of that amount was in fact given by the centre. She clarified that the remaining 705 crores was from the state's financial resources. She had told the House that there was no reply to her request of a grant of 2.5 lakh crore aid for the state. <laughs> சூரிய ஒளி மின்சார உற்பத்தி மடிக்கணினி வழங்கும் திட்டம் போன்ற திட்டங்களுக்கு இரண்டு லட்சத்து ஐம்பத்தி இரண்டாயிரம் கோடி ரூபாய் அளவிற்கு நிதி உதவி வழங்க வேண்டும் என்று மத்திய அரசிடம் கோரியிருந்தேன் இதுவரை எந்த நிதி உதவியும் மத்திய அரசிடமிருந்து வரவில்லை இதைத்தான் நான் குறிப்பிட்டேன் மாண்புமிகு பாரத பிரதமர் அவர்களை நான் சந்தித்த போது இந்த கோரிக்கை அடங்கிய கோரிக்கை மனுவை நான் கொடுத்தேன் அதற்கு இதுவரை எந்த உதவியும் கிடைக்கவில்லை Now two days after NDTV Hindu exposed an illegal website the city police have swung into action and have appointed the cyber crime cell department to look into it now this comes after a complaint was lodged by the activists of the Hindu Makkal Katri with the Chennai police demanding action the website allowed users to download movies within hours of its real time release on the silver screen and this had thereby caused a huge loss to Hollywood the site offered users a download option on these films and other adult films as well A con woman all of 26 was arrested by the Central Crime Branch of the Chennai City Police today for duping a medical student. The woman promised the young boy an admission into a private medical college and had bagged close to 26 lakh rupees for the promised offer. Moving on, the DMK chief Karnanidhi has responded to reports uh, quoting WikiLeaks that he has deposited 35000 crores in a swiss bank he said today that those reporting that should prove it and that he was contemplating legal action avan udayana aanmagal endral adu irukkavendu You're watching the late night news on NDTV Hindu when we come back add one more international company to set up shop and facility in Namachennai this time it aims at connecting people